Hi, it's Bill again. Look, it's, it's look, come on, it's, um, fourth, fifth, what day is it, fifth? Fifth, is it the fifth? Fifth of November. It, it's Guy Fawkes Night. Hey, it's Guy Fawkes Night. I thought I'd better turn myself into the police this time. No, no, stop running away. Fisher Eames, come back here. Now it's Guy Fawkes Night, isn't it? Fifth of November. So I thought it was about time I handed myself into the police. Hang on, what are you running away for? Come back here! <laughs> Stop running off. For some reason, the police have just run away. <laughs> Sorry, I got arrested, like I said before, a thousand times. Peace. You know, said it a thousand Said it a thousand times. Yeah, look, we all have our crosses to bear. How about it? We love our crosses a bit. I've said it about 5,000 times, I don't know why it be. But anyway, yeah, I got arrested um, in 2007. So it's 2000 that long ago. Fucking hell. A kid's being a kiddie fiddler sort of thing, and making pornographic movies with kiddies, you know. And the police had to watch my films for four months, gave them back, you know, I've said it all a thousand times before, you know. But what I'm saying is like, you know, here yeah, I've got uh, uh, I've got about a thousand YouTube videos you can watch as well now. But now I'm handing myself in again. it's Bill. William Bailey. William Joseph Bailey, still me. Right. Fish Fisher Eames. Right, I'm handing myself in now. Why are you running away? <laughs> no, no, I'm handing myself in now. It's 2017. It's like 10 years later now, isn't it? It's 2017, Fisher. Sure. It's 10 years later. Made a lot more movies on... Fuck, what do you mean, fuck off? Why are you, why are you running away, Fish? What are, why are you running away? <laughs> Thank you. We don't want to do it again. It's in the wars. It's in the penitent. Well, I said, I had, I had myself into the police. I said, what are, why do you keep running away from me? <laughs> no, I'm handing myself in. Come on, 2015. Guilt. Guilty. I don't know what I'm guilty of yet. Why am I giving up charge for this time? Why am I guilty of this time? Now, come on, you can watch, you can watch my films on YouTube these days. You know what I've got there. I've still got the video, you know, and the television, thankfully. But, you know, uh, I've, well, not the old television. I've still got my videos on the old television, analogues. You then just, uh, 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 the police gave me back all my films. Uh, did you notice that after the police gave me back all my films, you know, you know my films, the police watched all my VHS films for four months. Four fucking months. Police watched all my fucking VHS films every fucking day. Poor fish Ames. You poor fucking cunts. They had an entire, do you know they had an entire investigation room just for me? It's true. And Hatfield Police, do you know they've actually closed down the police station now? <laughs> do you know afterwards, afterwards they actually closed down the police station and moved somewhere else? <laughs> It's a true fact. The police ran away. <laughs> this is a true story, right? In 2007, like, I got arrested by the fucking police. Accused of making pornographic movies with um, little children, you know, underage kids. So the police watched all my films. I think it was 1,000, well, probably about 500 of them were actually mine. But one, they had to watch 1,500 films every fucking day for four fucking months for four fucking months the police watched every fucking one of my films for four fucking months you know what the police did with my films they gave them all back to me and you know my dad drew for the getaway car he did my dad actually do do because i can't drive i can't drive my dad actually uh, drove the getaway car, you sort of thing. Because <laughs> I had to collect all the films. You know, because after the police accused me of being a kiddie fiddler, accused me of making porno films with little kiddies, and they watched all my films for four months. 
four fucking months. And they gave them all back to me. The police actually gave them all back to me. And they'd load them up into the truck and my dad drove, my mum and dad, my mum and, in fact my mum and dad, yeah, my mum and dad were with me. My mum and dad came, came down to the police station with me, right? And we had to collect up all the bags and put them into the van and all that. This white van and stuff. And they collected all the films and we had to bring them all back to my flat. It was beautiful, man. Fucking beautiful. Because the police accused me of being a kiddie fiddler and of making porno movies with little kiddies. Instead, they saw all the local teenagers smoking pot, playing board games. Instead, what they got was all the local teenagers singers. Oh, yeah, I have to show you my video movies one day. But I can't put it on computer. You'd have to watch them on video, you see. They're only available on video, sort of thing. Because um, they're only VHS, you see. But then, uh, after the police gave me back my films, Fisher Imps, sorry, Fisher Imps, thank you very much. Thank God for Fisher Imps. Police station. You're my chief judge, Fish. Please, Fisher Ames. Chief Judge Fish. That sounds excellent. I love that. Chief Judge Fish. Because he watched all my bloody movies with all the fucking teenagers. I mean, fam. It's all on VHS. Um, and they gave them all back to me. The police gave me back every fucking film. And you know what the government then did? You know what the government did then? They destroyed the analogue television. And then the government had to destroy the analogue television, didn't they? The government then destroyed the analogue television. The government destroyed the VHS video by replacing it with DVDs, which last for five minutes. You know, how long does the DVD last, you know what I mean? Fuck you, fuck you to hell, man. We're not on the same side. I'm not on your fucking side, OK? We are not friends unless you know me. If you know me, we're friends. If you don't know me, we're not friends, okay? But I don't really want to be friendly with everybody. I don't want to play. I, 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 why do you think I came down there? <laughs> not to get crucified, am I? You know, <laughs> been there, done that, don't want to do it again. Ah, wankers. Anyway, what I'm saying is like, my breath, thank you. I'm on holiday this week. Actually, I'm on holiday this week for nine days. This is the first day of this Sunday, so I've got eight more days left. Five, nothing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I've still got fingers, thank Christ. And you have this guy, this one mate, who can make up to five. Yeah, <laughs> on his hands. But, hang <laughs> on, that's not funny. That's bloody hard, isn't it? I'd hate to lose my fucking life. Fucking... Oof, oh, I've got to get used to it, isn't it? I know, it's horrible. It's horrible. I've got glass! I hope that's just something family, not family, I don't know. Somewhere I know. Anyway, yeah, lost his hand. It was a bit of a bummer. But he does fucking amazing shit. <laughs> he used to work in the play market. Look at my dad's house. He's quite clever. Anyway, I'm not someone's talking to me in their head and I don't know why. And I'm saying I'm on holiday now for sort of like, I'm not going to be at work for a few days, for, you, for a week, so I've got eight days of holiday. What am I going to fucking do? Enjoy myself, yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do, actually. I might make a movie or two like this one, but I don't know why. I was going to say something, um, yeah, like... Your life is your life, you know. My life... Well, I'm quite happy for the most part. Thank you very much. Everything's all right. Maybe we'll talk to the talk. Except, you know, not many people. Well, no, sometimes you do. Sometimes you do. I don't know. I'm saying, you know, I'm just me. Amoeba. Yep. Amoeba. Um, in fact, we're all probably just amoeba, isn't it? I mean, that's another story about it. Oh, never mind. No, I'm just saying I'm on holiday for the next fucking eight days. So I don't know what to do. How about you give me some suggestions? Actually, that's a good thing. Whoever watches this, right? Give me some suggestions to do something. You know, watch the other movies, yeah? Now, give me a suggestion. Tell me what to watch or what to do. Give me 
give me an idea of something I want to do. I can't write another story at the moment. I'm trying to write, I would like to write, but I'm, I've got a hell of a bad writer's block at the moment. I don't really have that many stories to, to tell. You know, the only problem with Hatfield is that every time I go downstairs, it's all Polish, it's like living in Poland. Hatfield is exactly like living in Poland in 2017. We've been conquered by the Polish. Britain has, well, in, well, Hatfield has totally been conquered by the Polish. Polish shops here, Polish shops there, Polish shops fucking everywhere. Everybody's walking downtown talking Polish. It's like fucking living in Poland, isn't it? Hatfield is like living in fucking Poland now, aren't we? Now we're all living in Poland. You brought your country with you, didn't you? Everyone's living in, you know, you've got fucking Polish living in about... Um, a house, and there's about four families living in a house, you know, which is converted into flats, you know, whatever. And the garage is a fucking flat, and they make a hundred quid a week or whatever. Uh, these fucking mugs. But they, they don't pay for it, they get it for free. This is what pisses me off. These Polish come over to England, they get housing benefit for free. This is Britain, we'll give you all our money for nothing. Can I put some pause? Yes, I do have a problem. I know you don't speak my language very much these days because you don't listen to our words, which are English. Eng English comes out of my mouth. Actually, English comes mainly from France, actually. <laughs> a lot of it comes from France, Anglo-Saxons. A lot of it comes from the Vikings, Denmark as well. Because the um, Vikings were from, from Denmark, weren't they? Basically, they're sort of like Northern Europe. So we got conquered, you know, we got invaded by the Vikings. I mean, that's where we had rape and pillage and blood and sweat sort of thing. Rape and pillage came from the Vikings. Is this actually, have you ever looked on the Open University? While you're on YouTube, look for the Open University, History of the English Language. It's fucking fantastic. History of the English Language is fantastic. But a lot of the actual English language actually comes from like the, um, uh, we got sort of like invaded by the Vikings and their left words like rape, pillage and stuff. Um, but anyway, um, um, it, William the Conqueror um, conquered England in 1066. He was from Normandy, France. You see, Normandy is French. And he brought words like circus, cirque, cirque, sort of, and it got translated into circus, and festival, and festival, and, oh, sorry, pardon moi. Just we, William, who have you? Who have you? You can imagine it when the French first met the English after the conquest, right? Imagine this one, right? Um, just after, um, um, uh, Britain just gets conquered by the French, like, you know. P people, p uh, Britain just gets conquered by the French, yeah? Uh, William the Conqueror, Normandy, 1066, hi. <laughs> and and it, says, um, it goes up to the natives, it says, um, who have you? Just we, William, who have And the bloke goes, looks at him and says, What? Who have you? Who what? Who what? Who what? Who have you? Who have you? An Englishman just doesn't understand the fucking word this guy's saying. He's nuts. This guy's totally nuts, you know. He calls up to English after the, after the Battle of Hastings, right? All shops to survive, to survive, to say, my apologies. But anyway, <laughs> after Battle of Hastings, like, and, and, and then William the Conqueror conquered England, like, and, and he says, he goes up to the people and says, uh, who are you? Who are you? And people look at him and say, who what? Who are you? Oh, you mean who? 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 Who are you? Is that what you're trying to say? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Ah! Who are you? Who are you? I don't know who you are. What are you doing in my patch? <laughs> anyway, yeah, and they had festivals and uh, circuses came over and stuff like that. There was a lot of fun afterwards. It was a bit of a shithole beforehand. You know? Because you know why? Because we actually had 10% tax for everybody. Do you know William the Conqueror actually invented tax? It's true. Everyone paid 
or whatever they had. Up, we had, we had the thing called the Doomsday Book. You remember, have you ever heard of the Doomsday Book? What we did with the Doomsday Book is we had a 10% tax for everybody. Everybody in the country had to pay 10% of what they had to the gov to keep for the government, right? 10% of the tax. 10%, right? That's, if you earned 100 goats, if you had 100 goats, you had to give 10 goats to the government. In, because you've got to have food to feed people. You need food to feed people. So we had 10% tax. Uh, what, how much money have you got? Nothing. All right. How many goats do you have? 10. 10. You've got 10 goats? Yeah. Well, right, I'll tell you what. I'll, can I, I'll take one of your goats as tax. You see, that's 10%. All right? Simple 10% tax. That's all you need. You've got 10 goats, yeah? I'll take one of your goats, okay? All right, so you go up to another bloke and say, all right, your dog's just had puppies. How many puppies? Five. All right, I'll take half of that little one. <laughs> Get a knife out. <laughs> Joking. Dead. <laughs> so how many puppies? That's five. So, all right, I'll take half of the little one. No, four. Sorry, sorry. Five would be one. No, actually, if you only have five, no, that's, that'd be five cent. That'd be 20 percent tax. So, if you, so, so the only way to get 10 percent of a little of puppies would be to have half a puppy. So you have to cut a puppy in half. I'm just joking. <laughs> so you don't get tax from someone with only five puppies. If you've only got four puppies, then you can't really claim tax for four puppies, can you? You know, that would be a bit cool. You'd have to collect in half. <laughs> Something. Five puppies, so you'd have to collect in half. Because it's a 10% tax. So before 10%, you don't pay any tax, right? If you don't have anything, if you've only got five pounds, I can't take one pound off you. I, I could take 50 people, that'd be just nasty, wouldn't I? <laughs> if I take 50... In fact, no, I will. I'll take 50p. Now, now if you've got a five, I'll take 50p. And leave it at that. Anything less than a five, you don't pay any tax. If you're less than a five, you don't pay any tax. If you've got five pounds, you pay 50p. If you've got five pounds, you pay 50p. If you've got 10 pounds, you pay one pound. If you've got 100 pounds, you pay 10 pounds. If you've got a thousand pounds, you pay 100 pounds. And if you've got a million pounds, you pay 100,000 pounds. If you've got a billion pounds, you pay 100 million pounds, you know? You never need, there's children in each shit now you're watching, aren't you? I just noticed, I've talked about Halloween, what's scarier, Halloween or children in need? What, what is scarier, Halloween or children in need? Be honest, I'm on holiday this week. I'm not even going to use clocks this week, unless, well, except because we don't want to make too much noise with the neighbours and stuff after something o'clock, but... I'm sort of going to try and live without a clock for a week. This sort of thing is a bit weird. I'm on a holiday. I'm staying at home. But what I'm saying is like, what's scarier, Halloween or children in need? The fact that there are millions and millions and millions and million, million billionaires in the world, like Bill Gates and all that shit. You got Bill Gates. You got all these fucking. You got billions of things like this Apple bloke and this thing bloke and. Oh, it's billions of billionaires, right? And still children who are starving and have to rely on charity. And then all the poor people go out and buy their... Poor the poor people now, right? They're going to go out and buy their... Um, uh, what's this called? What's this teddy bear called? Sorry, I don't, know. I don't watch it. Believe me, I don't watch it. Dugsy? Dug... Pugsy? Oh, that what? Like the dead dog? Like that stupid dead dog thing? Uh, what, what, it's named after the dead dog, is it? Pudsy? Uh, no, oh, it's a bear. Yellow bear. But, uh, oh, right, oh, that one. And, and actually, poor people who have who get up living on housing benefit or whatever, or living on unemployment benefit, they're going into the news agents, uh, into, sorry, into the, soup, into the supermarket, into the superstore, uh, Asta, into Asta, basically, which is like the Harrods of Hatfield these days. <laughs> Isn't it? That's how bad things are. Asta is like the Howards of Hatfield now. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's the only place you can afford to shop. 
Oh, wow. Now, there's pound shops everywhere as well. It's getting cheap shit. And that's for the state of it. It's like living in fucking Poland, man. We're living in fucking Poland. But what I'm saying is, like, now we've got this children need shite coming up again, isn't it? It's all of your BBC shite. I don't know. I don't get involved with your televisions. So I think it's, uh, cut that out a long time ago. Um, yeah, and, and now it's all sort of like, everyone's going to buy their putty uniform and so that they're helping little children by spending 20, 30 quid. Uh, where was that putty uniform made? Where were all these costumes for this children need shit? Where were they actually made? That they, where were they actually made? Probably in Singapore, where people get paid a pittance, don't you think? And I was talking about Hatfield, yeah. I live in Hatfield. And I'm sorry, but every time I'm walking down the street, it's all like the post office. Everyone speaks English in the post office, thank God. So thank God everyone in the post office. I'm not going to work for a few days, for a week, so I've got to, I've got to go back to, back to work for a week, damn. <laughs> I'm on holiday again. Shit, shit. Well, it's the only place people talk English anymore. Just <laughs> in a supermarket, you know. But every time I walk down Hatfield, it's like living in Poland, you know. It's like, love, it's like, like fucking living in fucking Poland. I go, I go down to the shops, I walk around town. It's all Polish shops, Polish food shops, Polish supermarkets here, Polish thing there. Hang on a minute, in the Second World War, the only reason Winston Churchill started the Second World War is because Poland got invaded by the Nazis, right? The only fucking reason that Churchill started the Second World War was when Poland got invaded by the Nazis, yeah? So Britain started the war to fight back. France got conquered by the Germans as well, didn't it? You know? But the point is, it's like, okay, now, now in 2017, all of Poland, it feels like the whole town, everyone's talking Polish, and it's very, very rude. Everyone's talking Polish in the streets of Hatfield, and it's very, very rude. I think it is very rude. Personally, I'm English, right? Born and bred in this fucking town, man, for several fucking thousand years. Honestly. This is Britain. You know why the Polish and the, and the Arabs and everyone else moved to fucking England? You know why? Because the English fucking government, the stupid fucking government who controls your lives, the fucking government who controls your fucking lives, what they fucking do is they pay people to come to England and, and they pay them unemployment benefit and they pay them to set... When they're living in their own country, I don't know what, I don't care about your country. But they come over to England all the time because they get housing benefit, they get their houses paid for, they get their unemployment benefit, so whatever benefits they fucking want, children benefit. You just hand money straight over to all these fucking bloody immigrants. And then you wonder why all the English people are poor still. So all the English people have to sort of like, are really poor still. Yeah, Polish, well, any fucking country, I'm not racist, any country comes over here and they start fucking claiming our benefits. Do you know there's one thing the Africans never did, one thing the Jamaicans never did. They never came over here and scrounged off our benefits. Not once, no. When the Jamaicans moved to England in the 1960s, I think it was, in the 1960s, when the Jamaicans, they worked for a living and they did all the shit jobs. It's true. When the Jamaicans first came to England, right, when the blacks first came to England, well, I mean, I'm not talking about all the blacks, because there were some from left over in the slave trade or whatever, there were some blacks who were here from the since slave times. But actually, in the 60s, Jamaicans, a lot, of black, a lot of black Jamaicans came to England, but they were after work, and that, because no one wanted to do the jobs. But they did all the shit jobs, like porters, and they were plumbers, and, and, no, and they were doing fuck off and wait, cunt doing all the shit jobs, like, all the crap jobs that needed to be doing, like, I suppose, cleaning the sewers or whatever, or working as porters and stuff like that. But they did work, and train drivers as well, and bus conductors, a lot of bus conductors as well. But they took the jobs that needed to be done. So that, that was because jobs needed to be done. Well, so we had to, immigration in the 60s, like, common sense immigration. You come over here and you work for a living. Yeah, that's how it worked, isn't it? You came over to England and then you work for a living. Yeah? 
because in the 60s we had a lot of um, Jamaicans um, um, moved into in England in the 60s, believe it or not. And, and they worked for a living. Um, but they were, they were doing with bus conductors and menial jobs, you know, like cleaners and um, street cleaners or whatever, or whatever jobs needed to be doing in England, like, you know, at that time, you know. But they integrated, and they spoke English as well in the streets. Okay, they, 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 they had the Notting Hill and stuff, and they still speak their own languages, yeah. But, but for 99.9999%, you know, they speak English in the streets for the most part nowadays, you know, a lot of them do. <laughs> I'm just saying nowadays, we've got all the Polish in Hatfield, for instance. But everyone's talking Polish in the streets, and I think it's a bit rude in the street to talk another language all the time. I think it's a little bit rude. It's like you've got little secrets you don't want the English to know. Or it's like aspiring. Hold on. We're the ones who've got... We're the ones who fucking liberated your country in the end, you know. But I'm saying it's like it would be nice if you talked English in, as 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 a as, as a kind thing, as a kind of um, um, a thankful thing maybe. It it would be polite in England to talk English, okay? I, I don't want to live in Poland. Obviously, you do not want. The thing is about the Polish. I do not want to live in Poland, right? This is for the Polish, right? Fuck off! This is for the Polish. I do not want to live in Poland, right? But I walk down the streets and everybody talks Polish. You've got all these Polish shops everywhere, which is fair enough. There were empty shops anyway. But it would be polite to actually talk English in the streets, please. As a courtesy, wouldn't it be nice if you talked English in the streets, please? As a courtesy to the English. Talk our language in the street. In your own homes, you know, when you have it together, whatever, talk your own language. But in the street, it'd be polite if you talked English. Because I don't understand what the word you're fucking saying. And it's like living in Poland. I thought you came away from Poland to escape Poland. But the thing is, you don't pay your rent, do you? You get your rent paid for. You probably get fucking a disabled benefit because you can't talk English or something. So you might get the same benefit because you can't talk English. Or you fucking just, you know, you get all the benefits from Britain. But I'm, I'm a worker, I'm a postman, but, but I don't get any paid any benefit. I'm a postman and I pay my tax. What benefit am I fucking getting? I feel like I'm living in bloody Poland, mate. Really. True fact is, I've lived in Hatfield all my entire life. Since the day I was born. Well, not, not since the day I was born, since I was about four years old, I think. Because we used to live in Ponsbourne Park. Hold on, pause a minute. All right. I was born in the QE2, Queen Elizabeth II Hospital in Wedding Garden City, you know. It used to be a hospital, now it's a waiting room or some outpatient thing. Sorry to say I'm broken. Um, yeah, so, um, but, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I, I've sort of lived in Hatfield all my life. When I was a kid, I grew up in Worcester Road, so, no, Wood, Wood Close, up the road there, and uh, Worcester Road down there with my mum and dad, and my brothers and sisters and stuff. Oh, okay, yeah, that's fine. Anyway, now, what I was talking about, yeah, but I used to be Hatfield when I was a kid, you know. Uh, oh, never mind. People used to talk English in the street. It didn't matter what colour you were, you just talk English. You know? Be polite. You know? Just to be polite, it'd be nice to talk English in the street. So I walk down the street and nobody's talking English. And I walk down the street thinking, what country am I living in? I'm not trying to be racist because, you know, they're very nice people. Most of the Polish I know are very nice people. But I can't, when I walk down the street, I want people to talk English. So I feel at home, but I walk down and I feel like I'm living in Poland. Why the fuck would I want to go on a holiday? I'm already living in Poland, man. So why the fuck would I want to go on a holiday? We're all living in Poland. Do you know what I mean? In Hatfield. Well, I don't need to go for a holiday. We're living in Poland already. Except I did bring Prague this way, unfortunately, but never mind. <laughs> of course, you're not allowed to smoke, are they? 